Hi, I'm Adrian Salisbury and welcome to another video in this series with Ecamm Live. In this one, we're having a look at comments. Do you appreciate that you don't need to have Facebook open in a window of its own to see the comments? You can see them right here inside Ecamm. And we're gonna demonstrate that. So we're gonna go live into Facebook and uh, you can see that I'm on my personal profile because this allows me to go into any group that I'm in. Now, if I try to go live into somebody's group and I'm not an admin, I get this message that says, Ecamm Live will not receive the names of the commenters because you are not a group administrator. Okay, so Ecamm Live community, I am now temporarily an admin in here, so we can do this. Uh, and you'll see that it says, Ecamm Live will only receive the names of group members who have granted their permission, invite group members. So I'm gonna click this button. And as you see there, it's gonna post this link at the top and invite people to give their permission so I can see their photo. Okay, and there's a tick on there that says, add link to the post description, done. Right, now we need to put a title and a description. And I'm just gonna put demonstrating comments in Ecamm. And as I mentioned in another video, uh, the title doesn't tend to appear, the description will. It will if we're scheduling a post, but typically the description is the bit that someone's gonna see. So I'm gonna pop that in and just copy it across. Now, I'm not doing anything clever on this. I haven't got any uh, overlays. I'm not gonna do any split screens or anything like that. So we're ready to go. Uh, let's go live and let's have a look at these comments. Okay, so we're live. Uh, and we're really hoping that people turn up else this is not gonna be a very good demonstration. Uh, I've given Glenn and Katie a heads up that I'm coming over, so I'm hoping that one of them at least will be on and hoping that some others will come on as well. On my panel here, I can see that I've got two people watching, two eyes on, so uh, as you see this, please help me out. We want some comments. Ecamm Network, hi, Adrian. Right, brilliant. So let me show you what we do. I can see these over in my control panel at the side here. You know, that's great that I can see that and I can carry on my chat and I can see this feed coming up. Uh, some reactions just popped up there, fantastic. If I wanna bring this in and make this interactive, this is what's really cool uh, inside Ecamm. I can click on this in my control panel. Um, bear with me, those of you that are on and watching this or watching it in a replay, you are gonna watch hopefully in a week's time, you're gonna see this up in the help section and it will make a lot of sense. Um, Katie's on as well, brilliant. Right, so let's just do these one at a time. Ecamm Network says, hi, Adrian. Now, I can play around, this is totally flexible. It's a, a free-floating tab in here. If I click on the side, I can just bring the length of the thing in. If I hit at the bottom, I can just do this and reshape it. And when I click on the next one down, so I can go straight to Katie and uh, that will just replace the one that was above it. So Katie's in here, hi Adrian, excited to be watching. Um, now on my control panel, I, I want it down this bottom, but when I'm looking on here, I've got this little section so I can push that out of the way and I can get rid of those cameras and then I've got Katie down the bottom here. Um, now something that I didn't realize until just recently that you could even do on here, is that there's a little pencil symbol at the side of here and we can stylize this text. So, and I'm, <laughs> I'm doing this on the fly because I didn't even know we could do this. So I can change these different bits around in here. I can change the font at the top. Um, let's go with this and I can um, change the color of it. Let's have a look. Uh, what should we go? Should we go for a bright red? There we go. So we've got a bright red now and then um, the comment below. Oh dear, I'm spoilt for choice. And we can change that background around as well if we want to. I don't know if I want to. Let's come back over here and find something in the palette. Sorry guys, I'm having a play. You're gonna see exactly what I'm doing in just a minute. Um, we can make this transparent if we want. Um, Ecamm orange, but I think that text now looks a bit strong in there, doesn't it? So let's pick that text up again. Um, what color do we think? Katie, what color should we be going? Should we just stick with white on here? No. Um, ah, the pressure. Right, we'll try that for now. That looks quite Ecamm to me. Uh, save that and look, Katie, there you go. We've just played with the fonts. Yes, it, how cool is that, Katie? As if, Katie, you didn't know that you could do that. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, 
But I didn't know that you could do this. Uh, I really do like that. Uh, go orange, good. And uh, as you can see, as these are coming in, I can just uh, keep replacing these one after the other. Uh, now there isn't anything over in the comments area that allows me to uh, pull that post off. Uh, so I need to come over here and there's a little cross in the corner and I can make that disappear. Uh, you can see that at the top of my viewer, I can see that there are two eyes on. I've got three thumbs up, three hearts. I can also see that over here. And of course, this is a floating bar. You can move this around to wherever you want. It's just me that likes it up in that corner. It really does help people when you're interacting with them. And you know, like Kelly there, for instance, or Gordon, you know, if you're just commenting and, and following along and there's no real interaction from the presenter, uh, the host of the, the live, uh, it can feel a little bit flat. But all of a sudden, if you get called out, it makes you feel great. OK, I'll leave it there and uh, see you soon, guys. Thank you. And that is how we handle comments. Fantastic. Those comments are still there. Um, what I should have said actually is as well as hitting there, you can actually underneath it shows you there, add to broadcast. You could have clicked there um, and made it appear as well. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's how it's done. Really use it, guys. It does make a difference. People love to see it when they uh, have a comment thrown up. And you know, certainly if you recognize them even better. So yeah, there you go. That's how it's done. Jazz up your lives by using these comments.